All right, everybody, it's guitar time. So, uh, been letting it sit out here for a few days, and <clears throat> when I come back out here, I'll check, I'll take a peek at these cracks that we had, and you can barely uh, even see them. I mean, if you, you have to look very close, there. I mean, I think the uh, vinyl sealer stuff is kind of covering them up. So what I'm out here doing tonight is I'm gonna pop these little rivets out. I'm gonna try and sand, sand around a little bit, kind of smooth this out, put them back in, and see if they, uh, see if I can spray one more coat, and that'll probably maybe be the final coat on this. Um, I think I'm at coat, that'll be coat four probably, maybe five, I'm not sure. But what I should have done probably was get some of this. Um, this is Starbond Super Fast Thin High Performance Glue. Anyway, so it's water thin. It's like a super glue. And uh, but what I did anyway was I put some tight bond with, with water and I uh, <clears throat> let it go down in there. And I think it held it open. So that's kind of what I'm guessing. So anyway, uh, I'm kind of tired of messing with it on and off and i feel like the more i mess with it the more i might mess it up i have a feeling once i get one more coat on there and once i hit the gold on there then it should keep it covered up and these aren't going in there they're, they're going there very easy now um i talked to stumac um and i believe we're gonna the last thing i heard from them was they're probably gonna send me another a whole nother kit uh so they couldn't determine whether it was a problem or not uh, with what I sent the pics I sent them, but I tell you what Stu Max customer service is top-notch I had this problem with the gold paint. They sent me some more gold paint. It wasn't getting there in time um, the, Anything that I've needed they've been there 100% so can't say enough about those guys. They're awesome So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna one more coat and we're gonna send it All right, so what I've done here is I've taken the little bushings out you can still see a little bit of crack which I think I'm okay with because I sanded over it it feels super smooth like you can't even feel it with your fingers I think what happened is when I put that tight bond in there with the water I think I actually went down in there and it's holding that open so that's what I'm gonna go with and I'm not gonna put any super glue on it even though I bought some uh, what I'm going to do is take this. I just sanded it smooth again with uh, some 600 grit. So all the bumps and stuff are out of it. So it's nice and smooth. I'm going to go and hang it up. Hit it with a good coat of, of lacquer here. And we're going to let it hang for the rest of the night. And I'm planning tomorrow. I got some uh, more bright gold in. So we're going to go out there and we're going to probably try and hit it tomorrow with some bright gold. Let it sit for a day. And hopefully start hitting it with these coats of uh of lacquer um so what i'll have to do is i watched more videos on you know spraying over the poly so what i'm gonna do is just rough those edges up you know maybe just kind of not get it all but but for the most part all around here so it's gonna take some 800 scuff this up really good and uh that way when i start spraying i don't have to i'm not going to focus on the back at all i'm just going to try and you know, if I get some over here, that's fine or whatever. And it's all going to blend out when I start doing the final sands and all that stuff. That's my plan. So anyway, anyway so I'm about to go hang it up, spray it, um, and let it sit. Call that my last coat. Unless tomorrow I can see these uh, cracks again, and then I'll hit it again. Uh, but I think this will be hopefully the last coat of the vinyl sealer. Um, and... I say it's got three, maybe four coats. I can't remember at this point, but I hit it, I sand it down. And so it's, I mean, it's not super thick coat, so it's nice and thin, but I mean, it's getting really, it's getting really smooth. So it's gonna have a, hopefully a great finish when I get ready to do the gold. And I even had an opportunity to go back and try and fix some of this that I didn't like on the first paint job. And I had some imperfections right here that I didn't like. So anyway, we're doing it all over from scratch. So I'm trying to, just get her done so anyway hang with me we'll go take a peek at it tomorrow and hopefully we can start getting some uh gold back on it okay so what i did was i uh went ahead and used some of the super glue pop those things in there spread apart i could see them visibly i said you know what there's last ditch effort just say i did it 
I just went down the line with the super glue. So what I'm gonna do next is let this dry. I'm gonna take a razor blade and try and just scrape off the excess and then kind of sand it back down. And it's about 65% relative humidity and 70 degrees in the paint booth. I went and bought a, a hygrometer or whatever you call it to measure humidity in here. So in the paint booth, it's about 70 so out here, but in there it's a little less. So I'm gonna uh, get that thing right. Then we're gonna hang this up. I'm gonna go get this warmed up. And man, we're going for it. So let's see what happens. All right, we got the uh, probably the last coat excuse my voice but i got a mask on so uh respirator so i think that's gonna be the last coat i can't visibly see any cracks so might have got them sealed up let's see that's gonna be fine there's a little bit of a something right there but i'm just nitpicking so whatever so I think we're gonna paint it gold. I think that's it. I'll sand this off, just make it smooth, give it a nice smooth surface. And then uh, we'll paint it gold, hopefully tomorrow. I'm gonna go check the weather. But man, that vinyl cedar dries fast. It's already starting to dry. So anyway, we'll sand her down tomorrow, get her smooth and get it ready for hopefully get some gold paint tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, guys, um, I decided I'm gonna try and get this done today. So we have 66% relative humidity, which I think that's not too bad. I think it's borderline right where you probably shouldn't spray. It's probably over 70 um, and then 70 degrees where I'm standing. So uh, we're going to give it a shot. So if it looks like it's going to start acting crazy, we'll stop and, uh, and reassess. But so from what I've done now is I put the sand, I put the, uh, excuse me, I put the uh, super glue in the cracks again, sanded it black, back nice and flush, hit it with 400 grit all the way on the top, hit it with a tack cloth, got it hanging. I've hit my, my stumac here with a hairdryer. Um, there you go, yep. So I hit it with a hairdryer like I did the last time I did this, I warmed it up. So we're gonna spray it a few times. Now this is the nastiest part of this. Uh, this stuff sprays when it sprays it's got little glittery golds all over the place so what we're going to do put this good tack cloth in my pocket so don't get crap all over it um and we'll start spraying and i'll video it at a risk of my phone looking like it's been at a strip club so because it's probably gonna get some gold speckles all over it so first coat's light second coat's kind of light to moderate i don't know whatever I was, this stuff i found you kind of got to do what you got to do with it like you got to kind of just work with it. So I'm about to put my respirator on and then get busy. Let me check out here. Alright, I got it all shaken up. Alright, nervous as a cat like always, but let's get it. Alright, you can just see all the little glittery flying out. Let's see. I'm trying to get a light. All right, well, that's number one coat. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna come out here and look at it and uh, make sure it's not too rough. So I'm gonna spray over rough. If it is rough, I'm gonna lightly sand it and do it again. So you can just literally see the stuff falling off of it as you spray it, all the uh, gold, like this. It's just gold everywhere. So anyway, so we'll let this hang. It says uh, one hour. So we're gonna give it an hour and we're gonna come back and do it again. All right, let me tell you how nervous this paint makes me. I sat there and recorded two minutes worth of stuff 
and I didn't even hit the record button. So I got my respirator on still because if you turn the lights out and hold a light up, you'll see little glitteries floating everywhere and I don't want to breathe all that crap in. So I took it out of the booth and as you can see, you can still see through the layers of paint. So this is like the second coat. What happens is if you hold it too far away, like I did, I guess my better judgment, I held it too far back on that first coat. See how rough it is? So it starts to dry before it hits the paint. And it's dry already. Like it's, I mean, it's not wet at all. It's just dry. So I'm going to give it a little bit. I'm going to come in here. I got some 800 grit. I'm just going to try and lightly just sand it down and get it nice and smooth. I'm going to wipe it off with a tack cloth. And I'm going to go in with a more deliberate layer. And I'm going to really get it closer and try and move it close and fast and get it on there really thick. So that's what my plan is next. Some of it's fine. Some of it's okay. Like right there, that's fine. Some other stuff's fine. But you can't leave it rough like this because it's going to look just like that. When you do the uh, start doing your other layers, it's going to look like crap. Let's say don't sand this, but last time I did this, I had the same problem. And to fix it, I had to lightly sand it all down and hit it again and hit it close. So that's what's going to happen. Just stay tuned. I'll sand it down and come back when we're in the paint booth. Okay. So uh, what I've done is let it sit, came back over it, sanded it. It's now back smooth again. Kind of just knocked all the high points off. So the next coat should meld right into this coat. And I'm not going to film the next one because I, it's serious business. I need to get this right because I don't want to keep messing with it. And uh, I'm not going to film the next one. I'm just going to get it done. And I'll come back and show you hopefully a beautiful finished product. So give me just a little bit. All right, so as you can see, this is a much better uh, coat. So the first one was super light. The second one was more, a little bit more deliberate. And the third one was really close to it and more wet. I can still see the, the uh, wood through the paint. So we're going to give this an hour. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to hit it again. Uh, what I'm going to do is a couple little spots. What I'm going to do is hit some get some 15 maybe 2000 and barely hit like these little spots because they'll show through when you go to clear coat so a couple of spots here and there i'm just going to hit those lightly and we're going to give it another coat and hopefully get rid of these lines that you can see through there so barely showing up on camera but anyway so that's what we're going to do next all right well everything that could go wrong goes wrong so came out here to spray it was 60 to 65 deg uh, percent humidity. And um, I, it kept creeping up. Almost got to, it was 65, then 67, and it hit the 70. I was like, all right, that's fine. First coat looked good, second coat looked good. Well, got to the third coat. And that's what that is. That's is. That's gotta be blushing. So that's sand marks, don't worry about that. See that right there? All that. I'm pretty sure that's blushing. And now that I think about it, all those little marks that I had at the beginning were could have possibly been blushing as well. So um, I think that's when I when I sprayed over it, it covered all that up. So I guess 70% is too high. So what I did was I ordered some that no uh, no blush with re re uh, retardant or whatever it is, the Mohawk stuff. So I ordered some of that. So hopefully it'll be in Wednesday for right now. I'm just going to try and sand all this, just kind of like sand it back flat and, uh, to a flat finish. And that way I'll take some of it off and let it sit for a few days, um, until I get some more perfect weather, um, which sucks. It's holding me back longer. But, um, once again, if you think you're okay don't rush it wait for good weather you end up with a bunch of crap so the only thing is i have to do this right because i only have probably half a can of that left maybe that's like maybe just a little bit left in there but this is all i have left and i need to do make sure i can get this right and do maybe one more coat because i have a good base down of gold and from what I'm reading is that uh, the blush, retar blush, no blush stuff that for Mohawk 
spray it on, whoosh, it fixes it. So what I'm gonna try and do is not use that. I'm gonna try and just sand, sand it down. When I get a perfect below 60 uh, here in the shop, I'm gonna get that and we're gonna hit it again. And uh, hopefully we can get one, maybe two coats perfect on it. And then I can wait uh, till I get more perfect weather to do the clear coats. So I'm gonna try not to rush this. I was trying to rush it, get through so I can get some coats of clear on it, um, let it start doing its thing. My dad and mom are coming down for a couple weeks. Uh, in about a week, they're gonna come down for a couple weeks. So I'm trying to get all that wrapped up. So hopefully I can let it dry. So by the end of the time my dad's here, we can start trying to put it all back together. Um, so there you go, rushing stuff again and look what's happened. So, oh, and uh, so don't grab the business end of a heat gun, it'll get you. Uh, so it bubbled up, it's a big bubble. So anyway, back at it. All right, folks, so we uh, hit it with some 600 and flattened it all down. I don't see all those marks anymore. So I hope that was just in that third coat. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, I cleaned it with the um, tack cloth and then I hit it with lightly with some naphtha and uh, just to kind of clean all the stuff off of it. So we're gonna let it sit here and wait for some better weather and uh, <clears throat> we'll spray it again. So that's all we're doing. It's waiting around. It's a waiting game now. But, um, you know, I bet that if you cleared right over this, I bet it would look, I bet it would look, uh, I bet it would look nice. I've heard, you know, people say, oh, you can't clear over metallic, but say this naphtha, say, I mean, it makes it look really nice. So, Anyway, we're not going to clear over it, though. We're going to leave it alone, and uh, we're going to hit it again whenever we get good weather. But I think it's going to be fine. You know, it's just all about the weather, all about humidity, folks. Stay tuned. She's going to look nice, though, boy. She'll be the flattest, smoothest thing you've ever seen.